Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. How are you? I hope you're good. I'm good. I'm drinking coffee. This is the first thing I'm doing today. Because today is quiz day. But it's also organization day. My closet is filled with shit, and I need to organize it. But first, I must give you a quiz. This quiz is covering everything from diseases that killed the dinosaurs all the way to the Carboniferous period. A lot of shit that you might have noticed was crammed into a much shorter time period. The history of live videos are taking me like two to four weeks for research, scripting, and filming. So when I'm not doing that, I'm researching, scripting, and filming two smaller videos in a week, which means I have not had time to organize my closet. So today I'm doing that and maybe tomorrow. So if a video doesn't come out as frequently as you would expect. It's probably because I'm organizing my kitchen or organizing my closet, organizing my file cabinet. Gotta organize so I can get my shit on track. Anyway, we're just hanging out today. This quiz means nothing. You can make it mean something if you want to. You can turn it into a drinking game. You can turn it into a way to give yourself a little pat on the back. You can do none of those things. You can just hang out. You don't even have to answer the questions. I can't make you do anything, but it's a quiz nonetheless. There are 30 questions, as always, about three questions per video. Some of them I did two questions for Carboniferous, I think had like five questions because that was fucking long. So I would love if you kept track so you could tell me at the end of the video what you got so I can figure out if I'm teaching well, maybe if I need to revisit things during the next unit. I'm starting to schedule out my videos like three months in advance. So I have an idea of what's coming in the next three months. So I'm gonna give you a little preview at the end. So stick around. All right, on to the quiz. Question one, why are coconut crabs called coconut crabs? Hey. They use coconuts as boxing gloves. B, they like to scale trees to grab and eat young coconuts. C, they buried Amelia Earhart under a pile of coconuts. Or D, they drop coconuts on people's heads to steal their food, clothes, and various items. The answer is B, they like to scale trees to grab and eat young coconuts. Luckily that, at least I know, they haven't figured out how to use coconuts as a weapon but maybe that is their next four. Question two, what is the biggest taxonomic family of beetles? A, weevils, B, blister beetles, C, ground beetles, or D, rove beetles? The answer is A, weevils, the cutest beetles that we know of. Question three, what period did Jaws evolve that we know of? A, Ordovician, B, Silurian, C, Devonian, or D, Carboniferous? The answer is B, Silurian. I have nothing else to say about that. Question four. What period saw the first large trees and forests that we know of? A, Ordovician, B, Silurian, C, Devonian, or D, Carboniferous? The answer is C, Devonian, but I have it listed as Carboniferous. So if you answered Carboniferous, that's wrong, but I'll give you a point. That's a bonus point, because I have it listed as Carboniferous, but it wasn't. It was Devonian, with wadis up and shit. All right, question five. What kind of weevil sits atop the infamous statue in Alabama? A, acorn weevil, B, bull weevil, C, cotton weevil, or D, jewel weevil? The answer is B, bull weevil, because they annihilated everything with cotton, and so the town turned to nuts, they started growing peanuts and that made them very rich. And so the boll weevil indirectly made them very rich. And so now they worship them. All right, next bonus question. Surgeons perform the world's first what transplant into a human? A, dog, B, pig, C, horse, D, gorilla. The answer is B, pig. To quickly catch you up on this world's first, I'm using today's sponsor, Ground News. The app and website designed by a former NASA engineer with their network of over 50,000 news sources from across the world, you can compare coverage on every story. So, hell yeah. Let's dive into this story's overviews. This story is reported on by over 200 sources, 35% lean left, 20% lean right, and 70% of all these articles come from sources considered highly factual or reliable. So I can sort my results based on that for the best possible information. One of my favorite features is being able to create my own custom feed. This gives me total control and complete transparency of the news I care about most. In today's world of news overload, where sorting facts from fiction becomes more and more difficult, I think Ground News makes it really easy to understand any topic from every angle, including original research. They give me all the tools I need to form opinions based on all the facts. If you want to get in on this too, check out the link in my description, ground.news slash Nicole. Subscribe through my link for 40% off their unlimited access vantage subscription, making it only $5 a month. That's the plan that I've been using and it's the best. Lots of tools, lots of access. Subscribing also really helps out the platform and makes a huge difference in trying to make the news more transparent. Thank you Ground News for sponsoring this video. Now, on to the next question.
Question six. Sauropsids, the group that gave rise to reptiles, are defined by which of the following skull configurations? A. Anapsid skull. No temporal fenestra. B. Diapsid skull. Two temporal fenestra. Plural. Fenestri. C. Both A and B. Or D. None of the above. The answer is C. Both A and B, because that is always the answer when that's the option. Next, question seven. Based on their apparent water vascular system, Solacena Cthulhu was determined to be A, an echinoderm, closely related to sea cucumbers. B, an echinoderm, closely related to sea stars. C, an idarian, closely related to anemones. Or D, a mollusk, closely related to cuttlefish. The answer is A. An echinoderm, closely related to sea cucumbers. Next, question eight. What seems to be the reason for the disappearance of Gigantopithecus's bones? A, volcanism. B, coconut crabs. C, rats. D, porcupines. The answer is D, porcupines. They like to gnaw on the bones, chew on them and shit. Get lots of nutrients and minerals. So it seems they are the reason for the disappearance of the bones. They don't like teeth, so. Why the teeth are still there, they don't fuck with the enamel. Question nine, what is the Tully monster? A, vertebrate. B, invertebrate. This one was a trick question. So either answer is correct because it's really up to your opinion. You could say it's an invertebrate. You can say it's a vertebrate. It really doesn't fucking matter at this point. Whatever you say is correct or incorrect. Glass half empty, half full, whatever. Next, question 10. The earliest animal on land that we have fossil evidence of was Pneumodesmus numini. A, a millipede-like creature. B, a worm-like creature. C, an amphibian-like creature. Or D, a fish-like creature. The answer is A, a millipede-like creature. Millipedes are superior, as we have shown in multiple videos. Question 11. What is an insect other than the mosquito that seemed to be a carrier of malaria during the Cretaceous? A, Wasp, B, ants, C, biting midge, or D, weevils. The answer is C, biting midge. That's all I have to say. Next, question 12. During the Carboniferous, oxygen levels were much higher, sitting around blank, compared to 21% today. A, 60%, B, 50%, C, 40%, or D, 30%. The answer is D, 30%. I don't even know if it would be possible for it to reach any of the other ones. Okay, label the following as true or false craps. A, decorator crap. B, pom-pom crap. C, Japanese spider crap. And D, coconut crap. All right, let's just go down the list. True, 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 false. Coconut crabs are false crabs. The rest are true crabs. Next, question 14. What ultimately allowed sauropods to hold up their enormous necks? There's a lot of things, but what especially? A, enormous fucking juiced up muscles. B, less gravity at the time. C, hollow bones with a network of air sacs attached to them. D, more oxygen at the time. The answer is C. Hollow bones with a network of air sacs connected. That's it. Led to some potential respiratory issues, as it seems. Question 15. What are the bristles covering the decorator crab's bodies called that function like Velcro? A. CD. B. Cerci. C. Chalicera. D. Spiracles. The answer is A. CD. Like Velcro on the decorator crab. Question 16. What is the body size estimation method called that shrunk the duck? A. Orbit opercular length. B. Orbit optical length. C. Extraocular length. Or D. Orbit overture length. The answer is A. Orbit opercular length. B. And it shrunk the duck. Absolutely obliterated it. Question 17. The first remains of Gigantopithecus were found in what? A. A porcupine's den. B. A dig site in the Canadian Arctic. C. A traditional Chinese drugstore in Hong Kong. D. George Washington's teeth. The answer is C, a traditional Chinese drugstore in Hong Kong. Porcupine's den might've thrown you off, but the first remains of Gigantopithecus were found in a city. Then they went out, looked for it elsewhere. Porcupines came later. Next, 18, where was Tiktaalik found? A, Pennsylvania. B, Canadian Arctic. C, Burgess Shale. D, China. The answer is B, Canadian Arctic. They were up there for years looking for Tiktaalik, and then they found it, and 
It's one of my favorite stories that I've learned in paleontology. So next, question 19. Fossil evidence suggests Tiktaalik was a plant eating fish. True or false? The answer is false. Tiktaalik seems to have been a carnivore based on their teeth. Question 20. Until what period was land a no-bone zone that we know of? A. Ordovician. B. Silurian. C. Devonian. D. Carboniferous. The answer is C. Devonian. Tiktaalik and its relatives showed up in the Devonian and fucked shit up indefinitely. Question 21. What is the name of the taxonomic order that includes all elephants and their relatives? A. Pronathodon. B. Perissodactyla. C. Proboscidea. D. Pompisidor. The answer is C. Proboscidea. From the word proboscis, i.e. trunk. Question 22. What is the largest elephant to ever exist that we know of? A. African elephant. B. Platybelodon. C. Paraceratherium. D. Straight tusk elephant. The answer is D. Straight tusk elephant. Paraceratherium is gonna get a feature soon. I gotta do a video on them. I'm waiting for the right time. I have an idea, I'm waiting for the right time. It's my favorite extinct animal, so gotta make it special. Question 23. New analysis of Platybelodon suggests they use their shovel mouth to A. Scoop and shovel. B. To scrape, saw, and pluck. C. To filter feet. D. To crush. The answer is B. To scrape, saw, and pluck. Probably other things, but that's what the fossil evidence shows as of right now. Question 24. The coqui is native to A. Hawaii. B. Puerto Rico. C. Cuba. D. Mexico. The answer is B. Puerto Rico. I hope you got this one right. If you didn't, Question 25. Glass frogs use a technique called what? To enhance their camouflage abilities by blurring the lines between where their body ends and where their leaf backdrop begins. A. Invisibility. B. Edge diffusion. C. Surface diffusion. D. Little guy magic. The answer is B. Edge diffusion. Question 26. Pedophryne amoensis, the smallest frog that we know of, seems to have evolved a small form to consume small things like A. Mites. B. Bacteria. C. Tardigrades. D. Nematodes. The answer is A. Mites. Bacteria, tardigrades, and nematodes are probably a little bit too small. Actually, Maybe tardigrades and nematodes. That was a little ignorant of me to say. I don't know. Maybe they do, and we just don't know. Question 27. The known remains of Gigantopithecus include A. Mostly teeth. A few mandibles. B. Mostly teeth. A few femurs. C. Femurs and mandibles. D. Mostly teeth and a few vertebrae. The answer is A. Mostly teeth, a couple of mandibles. I hope we find more in the future. Question 28. What group of dinosaurs seem to display more of a predisposition for bone tumor growth in the fossil record? A. Tyrannosaurs. B. Sauropods. C. Ceratopsians. D. Hadrosaurs. The answer is D. Hadrosaurs. For some reason, they just kept showing up in the fossil record with bone tumor growth all over them. Question 29. Pomona scorpius seems to have relied on what? for hunting much more than scorpions today. A, mechanoreceptive senses. B, smell. C, eyesight. D, ambush attacks. The answer is C, eyesight, which made them kind of baby, but still heinous. Question 30, what makes the amniotic egg so special? A, able to lay eggs away from water. B, protective shell. C, nutrients all inside the shell. Or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above, because as we know, that is usually the answer when that is the option. The amniotic egg is superior. All right, once you tally up all your scores, let me know what you got in the comments, because I want to know. I'm curious. I'm going to read all of them. And to give you a little preview of what's to come in the next 10 videos, obviously we have the History of Life videos that I'm trying to do like once a month. So then there's about two other topics that we cover in that month. And I'm kind of going with a theme, like I'm feeling, you know, like summer's coming up. People like hearing about the ocean during the summer, shark week and all that. So gonna get into some deep sea shit, some deep sea stuff that seems like it comes from some sort of video game, but it doesn't. And speaking of video games, some of you have noticed that Gion uses the Spore soundtrack as a soundtrack for some of these videos. I've never played Spore, but I've heard 
that it would be right in my alley. And so thinking about trying it out and turning it into a YouTube video, cause it kind of goes along with the vibe. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know because that would be really fun for me to film. At least I think it would, I don't know how to play the game. So let me know if you would like to see me play Spore. I think I'm gonna like it. So I'm excited to try it out. I have a couple other video topics that I'm gonna keep a mystery for now cause they're gonna be very cool and I wanna keep you on your toes. So if you're excited to see them and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. This spring and summer is gonna be sick. Check out my Patreon for behind the scenes content and our Discord server. Thank you Ground News for sponsoring this video. Subscribe through my link for 40% off their Vantage subscription. And for now, stay curious. The world has a lot for us to learn. See ya.